Hello, Confetti Club. It is Pixie, and I thought right now would be better a time than any to go through my entire Magical Girl collection for you guys. I have been meaning to do this video. It's been kind of on my back burner. Since I moved here, um, I have been collecting Magical Girl anime memorabilia and kind of collecting the items and stuff for several, several, several years. Um, I got my first Magical Girl wand when I was 16 years old. It was this one! And ever since then, I have been sharing my collections online. I've done several little, here's a blast from the past, several other um, iterations of my collection and stuff over the years as I've been acquiring things. And now that I've moved into my own place and I have a whole townhouse to myself, um, I definitely prioritized giving my precious collection a place to live. If any of you guys don't know what Magical Girl anime is, it is basically a genre of anime where it features girls that have magical powers and that's kind of all you need, but it's a whole beautiful genre that spanned so so many years. The very first Magical Girl anime is usually agreed to be Sally the Witch in the 70s, 60s, 69, up at the year. And since then, we've gotten so, so many amazing, impactful animes under the Magical Girl anime umbrella, such as Sailor Moon, Kirkaptor Sakura, uh, Mew Mew Power, Ojibajidori Me, Pretty Cure. I'm just trying to rattle off some if you guys are like, I know that anime. Revolutionary Girl Utena, can I call that? I, I consider that a Magical Girl anime, but I mean, my parameters are also kind of loose. I definitely have changed the way that I I have organized my collection a lot since the last time I did a video on it. I've actually been getting requests from you guys and you guys have been like tweeting me how old my most recent Magical Girl collection is and it's like, girl, we see your room. Like, please, what is going on? Um, so since my last Japan trip, which is actually around a year ago this time, I was really, really inspired after going through Mandarake and Nakano Broadway and Akihabara and seeing all of the amazing like anime goods stores and especially like pre owned and used anime goods is what I mostly buy now. And I was really, really inspired. I was like, when I go home, I want to make a little corner space in my house look like mandarake. Whereas before I was definitely arranging my wands very like matter of fact, linear, like wand, 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 packed, packed, packed. And I was just like, I love the knickknacky kind of I spy like kind of, I don't know, visual narrative mom of like the way they arrange the shelves with like figures and books and bows and like whatever's going on here. So I really like the way that I have it organized now and it also allows for like, if I go down and I pick up some fabric at the store and I decide to go next door and get a little like, little uh, blind box thingamabob at my local anime goods store. I'm so lucky to have that where I live. Um, I can like find a cute little spot. Like the other day I picked up just this little mystery like, uh, pre-cure, like, friggin' Mighty Beans, and I got Cure Chocola, and I was like, what am I gonna do with a tiny Cure Chocola? Put her in my tiny Cure Cure Pre-Cure Ella mode display. It definitely gives me a lot more places to put, like, little things as I get them, and give them a home they deserve. These shelves are the first thing I see when I wake up in the morning. They're the last thing I see when I go to bed. <laughs> it makes me really, really happy. Magical girls inspire my life mostly. You guys probably know my leg is a work in progress magical girl anime tattoo leg. Without further ado, let's freaking peruse these shelves. Of the clouds, but the unexpected mass. Welcome to level one. Bing bong, get off the elevator. This is the very bottom level of my Magical Girl shelf. This white shelf is just like the simplest shelf that you can get at Ikea. And here we have the card captor shine. Um, starting over here, we have like a little happy Kara Chan corner. I do think Kara Chan is one of the best and most iconic um, Magical Girl fairy mascots. I think it really paved the way for a lot of tarts and Harry's in our age. I have some little baby figures. I've gotten these from 
anime conventions year after year. She's also from an anime convention. I think she might be as well. Carcaptor Sakura is one of the more like mainstreamy, recognizable ones, so it's easier to find merchandise of. A lot of this stuff, honestly, like the plushies, Caro, those plushies, and all of my clear card cards were all gifted to me from NHK when I was working with them on Kawaii International because we did a whole segment on how much I love magical girls, so thank you NHK for all the goodies. <laughs> For my figures here, I have little cat Sakura. I love her bell. I love her Karo-chan. I love her very much. Um, this clear card one, which is just so beautiful. I love her stripy clear card dress. And honestly, I have got this for like the little tiny wand. The tiny wands that come with them absolutely kill me. I have this little happy candy chibi one. I believe this was Ichiban Kuji. And then I have my three beloved, um, like, full-size, sort of, kind of, card captor Sakura wands. Um, so I have them here in order of, like, appearance. We have the glow wand, the star wand, and the clear card wand. Does that have a different name? We'll figure it out. Here's Precure Shelf number one of several. Chronologically, sort of, kind of, we have Futariwa and Max Heart. My two only singular yes precure five items with a little whoosh, sweet dusty cure aqua and cure fleur wand this is cool because it kind of looks like a lightsaber in the anime in behind i also have just like little things against the back to kind of decorate the behind of the shelf i chose not to paint this or wallpaper it i was really debating on like totally rainbowing the back of the shelf and stuff and like maybe one day, but I thought I'd just let all these colorful items kind of speak for themselves too. So um, I have just like DVDs and little coloring books and diaries and stuff um, to kind of keep those anime faces popping up. Remind you, yes, they're all looking at you. We have Cure Passion. This is another one I picked up from our local game store. Um, some of these were actually a lot. These three were all gifts. We have Cure Peach. Marine. Um, this is the figure that lives with me at school on my desk um, when I'm allowed to be there. Um, and this is Cure Moonlight. Her arm fell off. I'm pretty sure this one's a bootleg and um, it doesn't go back on. So that's okay. <laughs> Cure Moonlight and her severed arm. This wand was my very first ever Magical Girl wand item. Um, this is the Flower Tact from Heartcatch Precure. It was a gift from my mama for, I think, my 16th birthday. So that's really, really special to me. And then this is where the chronological gets a little mixed up. We have Smile, we have the Smile Pact, Glitter Force, Charge Makeup, whatever they say in the English version. We have the Princess Candle. This was another one of my first Magical Girl wands that I got like back in middle school. It's freaking beautiful. Mine is old and dusty and it doesn't really work anymore, but you used to be able to blow out the flame and the microphone would feel your like, the, the breath and it would blow out the candle. Epic wand. I have some more like Star Twinkle Precure goods I got in Japan. Um, there's a lot of Star Twinkle and a lot of Kira Kira Precure a la mode because those are the two series that were airing when I visited Japan those two times. So that's why. And from Sweet, this is the only Sweet Precure object I have um, like like a weapon <laughs> item thing. Um, I love the cure module, it's so beautiful. Mama, can we get a spin? Can we get a spin? And to the second level of the Precure lasagna, we have more recent current stuff, sorta kinda. I definitely have a little bit more occupying this shelf. Starting over here, we have the aforementioned Go Princess Precure. Again, this is sort of in chronological order. Um, go pre, go pre, go pre. This is from Doki Doki Precure. I have probably the least of stuff from Doki Doki because I think that's all I have. I really want the um, lovely, the arrow from Doki Doki. We're watching Doki Doki right now. It's so cool. But yes, Cure Sword in there singing, being alone with her um, dead princess. Here we have Mofarun, a little coin sack. I got him at um, 
Yummy Yuri Dance. A lot of these were gifts, actually. I think the um, New York meetup was also around Kira Kira Pre Cure Alamo Mode time, so I got a lot of Pre Cure presents from Sweet Confetti Club members, and a lot of them were Kira Kira, which is great because it's one of my favorites. So I have a uh, Parfait's Rainbow Ribbon here. Um, the actual ribbon part is stored in my dresser just because it's really, really long. I have the Kira Kira Sing Along Karaoke Whisk. Um, you guys know I cosplayed Cure Whip and I did that dance. Actually, you might not know that. That was 2017, but I got the whisk for that. This is like, come on, one of the cutest transformation items ever. The freaking Kira Kira Pre Cure Ella mode. What's this? Sweets Packed Mama? Yes, please. And I have Whip's little animal sweets in there. Of course, because strawberries are superior. I have, I keep a lot of the packaging because I think the packaging is also really, really cute. And again, gives me that like Mandarake storefront. Like I could walk into a secondhand anime goods store and be like, perusing the goods. This cloth, actually, I should mention, I got that from the Precure Pretty store in Tokyo Station for spending over $200. So thank you. And here is like my most current Precure merchandise. We have Hugto with Curiel. I really, really want to start collecting all of the dolls like this um, because I love dolls with fabric clothes and like you know, hair that's like a little wig. I just think they are so precious. There's something about figures and something about like a like a Barbie doll with fabric clothes and wig hair. I love it so, so much. So kind of starting to collect them. I have Kiriel here with Harry Hamu Harry. This little hamster boy was sent to me from my sweet, sweet friend Ophelia, and I love him so much. I would literally die for Harry Hamu Harry. Again, Carol Chan, thank you for paving the way for more little angels like this to exist. Um, and I have these little like Tsum Tsum esque things from the Precure Pre store as well. We have Cure Whip, Shiny Luminous, and Fuwa. This is my little hug toe stash. I have the tambourine from the hug toe ending. I also got this in person in Japan. I love all the tambourine items. I want the most recent tambourine, but again, I really am moving forward, pretty much buying everything secondhand and used, so waiting for that to pop up on Monorake. Um, And this was sent to me in the mail from a Confetti Club member that just happened to accidentally buy two. <laughs> and she was like, yo, do you have this? Do you want this? And I was like, absolutely hit me up, baby. Um, I love it. We love a cell phone. We love a heart. We love a convertible moment. Doki Doki Jumu Nakira Maku. <laughs> Sorry, the least favorite thing I've ever said. <laughs> Star Twinkle Time! This is the last most recent series before the one that just started airing. So I am a Pisces, so I have the Precure Pisces pen here on full display, along with the star color pendant and this little fun. Ah, it's a megaphone. I got this in Japan too because I was so convinced. I was going to upload a cover of the dance, and then I literally filmed it in the Precure hotel room the one night I stayed there and deleted it forever. So I just own this. It plays the songs. We're bopping. We're yelling. Upward we march. Yes. <laughs> Anime? Other than Precure? I haven't heard of it. Except I did at one point where in which I purchased these edits. Here we have the small amount of Sailor Moon things that I do own. Um, Sailor Moon is definitely, oh, Chibi Moon's ass is out. Oh my god. Okay, she's not gonna stay, so I'm actually gonna leave it like that just for this part. I hope that's okay. So yes, little Sailor Moon area. Um, just a couple figures. A couple of these are just blind boxy friends. This one was sent to me in the mail. This is an old Sailor Moon cassette that I bought off of my friend in like high school or middle school. Ooh, this is one of my favorite figures. She actually lives in my YouTube set, but I took those objects out to put them here so you could get the full experience. This wand right here is one of my most like prized and favorite. This is actually a Korean wand. Um, it's not the Japanese version, but it's really, really hard to come across. This is from Sugar Sugar Rune. This is Chocolat's wand. Sugar Sugar Rune is such an underrated magical girl anime. I love it so much. It's very much about like romance and it's, oh, I love all the aesthetics and the music and the animation and everything 
watch Sugar Sugar Rune. So I have this wand Korean version. Thank you so, so much to the fantastic Confetti Club member that um, sold me that as well. Here is my sailor stash, as it were. I have the Cutie Moon Rod. This is actually the Proplica version. Um, this little pink moon wand, is that what it's called? Pink, pink crystal. Okay, I bought that one from the same friend that sold me the cassette. This was a fantastic thrift store find at my local thrift store. I got it for four dollars. Um, I've done videos on a lot of these in the past when I used to like buy one wand and justify it by making a whole video about it to try to like pay it off when you have disposable income <laughs> in high school. And then over here, this is my moon stick. This is the Italian reboot version. I never bothered to invest in like a more legit Sailor Moon moon stick. This one was $60. I, I think that was my second one I got after the heart catch one when I was like 16 years old. I just have always been satisfied with this $60 Italian one. So like, it's fine. And then, da 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 da. My second most beloved anime ever, after Precure as a whole, because Precure is a whole, we have my Ojimajo Dore Mi collection. Um, Ojimajo Dore Mi was the first magical girl anime I got a big, like, tattoo of. It's kind of amalgamation, but um, this was the wand that I got to cover all of my scars on my thigh. Oh, and I also have a couple of the transformation items as well. This is the Rhythm Tap Mama. This is the Dokkan transformation item mama. This is the box for it because just how cute is that and how cute is her little face with the rainbow and oh my god. And up here we have my little collection of Doremi figures and dolls and things. Um, these three were all sent to me through my old P.O. box when I used to have a P.O. box. Um, and they're so, so, so precious. Um, this one specifically was sent to me from a longtime Confetti Club member and friend Mary. I love you so much. I love her so much. I love her precious little fabric clothes and her wig hair. And, um, this Doremi Q Posket, I ordered when I launched them. Oh, and here's just some little happy keychain moments. Would you believe me if I told you there was more? Hold tight for a second. Welcome to my happy dresser medicine shelf situation. This is where we kind of have the rest of the shebang. Definitely figure heaven, figure world, and down here there's just some miscellaneous goods that kind of needed to go on a flat surface. Um, smack center that always lives open here. This is definitely one of my most prized Precure possessions. This is the Polaroid that they take of you when you go and see a live show, mom. Um, this, I've said it several times, was one of the happiest days of my life. I went with my mom, it was at Yomiuri Land, I got to meet the Precure, I got to do the dances, we had really yummy ice cream, the sun was shining, it was just like the most pleasant spring angelic precure day of my life. So I like to remember it by keeping the Polaroid right here and happy. It was definitely, um, it was kind of during the switchover from Maho Girls to Kira Kira, which is why we have the three Maho Girls with Whippy Whip, as well as me in the middle. There's a teeny tiny, teeny tiny sinful corner of idol anime <laughs> because I obviously am much more into the magical girl scene, but I have been getting into the more of the idolage in the past few years. I am a pre-para, just e extreme pre-para fan. Um, I've been watching a bit of Aikatsu, so here is some pre-para moment energy. And a little baby Yui Yumekawa, who I also cosplayed. Here we have, this is, um, not idol, but jewel pet. The only jewel pet item I own is this Labra mug. If you've watched Jewel Pet, please comment down below. I feel like that is even more obscure and like lost to the times, but Jewel Pet Twinkle in particular. Some of them kind of suck. Jewel Pet Twinkle, dab dab. Um, and in there we just have some like little buttons and things. There's Cure Miracle. There's a Cure Soleil sticker. There's a little Tomoyo. I just keep, you know, 
little objects that I find around my room. I got this at Kitty Land. It's not a particular anime. It's a little luminary, or is luminary tears an anime? I don't know. I thought it was cute. It just lives right there. And this little moment here, this is actually a dollar store jewelry stand that I got forever ago, like years and years and years ago. I think I used it to display things at my first artist alley ever, and I've only ever done like two. But um, I thought I would use it to also display my like little keychains and figury keychains and wandy keychains. And then, is this in chronological order? I don't know what's going on. These are all Precure. I'm checking right now. Every single thing on here is Precure. So these are all of the candy figures on these bottom two. And then these are Cuposkets. I love the Cuposket dolls absolutely so much. Uh, as you can see, I have all of the uh, Speaker Franco go ones. Thank you very much, Mom, for Christmas. And these are all of the candy figures. The candy figures are super duper cheap. They're like $3 in Japan here with the import fees. They're a little bit more, but again, my local like game store gets them in whenever they come out, so I'm very lucky for that. But we have Mohutsukai, Kira Kira Precure a la mode. We have uh, just two hug toe babies. Oh, because they didn't fit. Okay, we have Lulu and um, Emiru just having a solo concert over here. And then the rest of the team down here. Oh my god, I love hug toe. As well as Doki Doki Dream, the Star Twinkle team. Yes, mom. And I got the, the pearlescent cuposkets. Because, like, look at them shine. And here. Above all of these little wifeys, we have the ultimate display of my women. I told you guys I had a little bit of a original Precure collection and you knew I would not hide it from you. Um, these are my little frames. So these are the only figures, um, Cure Black, Cure White, and Shiny Luminous, if you're not familiar. These are the only ones that I really like collect multiples of. Like every time there's a Nagisa figure, every time there's a Honoka figure, like I want them all, give them to me. They will all live here. Um, I have a pretty major tattoo of these three on my knee, if you guys were not aware. So I like to have a very happy home for them here above all. Um, this is Tiny Luminous. I, I thought she would be the same size as these ones. Why did she come so small? Um, it was the same price. I completely got scammed on eBay, but anyway. And um, behind them, I just have, this is a page of last year's Hug Toe Precure calendar. Um, again, my local like game store gets in the Precure calendars. I think they literally got one in each year and I bought them both, so thanks. But once you're done with the months, it literally just is like a beautiful poster. Like you can see down here, January, February, but no one cares. This is where I keep my finest Precure and Magical Girl related fashion items. I didn't really realize that I was collecting Magical Girl bags until I organized my closet one day and was like, oh, that's a big percentage. So um, I kind of sort of keep them on these two hooks. They don't all fit. I just, I love bags. They're practical. There's something inside of me that says this purchase is valid if it's also practical in an adult sense, which I mean, tote bag mom, little backpack mom. This one I used so much, it is now actually almost destroyed. I need to sew it back together. But uh, I don't know, do we want to have like a little tiny lookbook moment? Oh, wait, can you do Man Down Under? Well, that was Ghostbusters. <laughs> I also keep every single box for every single thing I ever purchase. Most of them are under the bed. If you're ever wondering what's hiding under Pixie Lox's bed, it's a hundred million uncollapsed Magical Girl boxes with like the packaging inside of them. Literally just because since I was 16, I knew if I ever get to a point in my life where I need to sell all of this to like move to Alabama, 
I have all the boxes to package them up and sell them on eBay. So fear not, little friends. If I ever am selling my whole collection, first of all, call the police. Something's wrong with me. And second of all, um, it'll come to you safely. I, I, I think that's it. This video's Future Confetti Club member is Chi Chick on YouTube, actually. This is an exciting Future Confetti Club member because this is actually an animated video animatic thing of a scene from one of my videos of Steve and I when we did our last Christmas decorating video. It is like attack the pack animatic. It's amazing, it made me smile so, so, so much. Um, I've never gotten like an animated scene thing like this before and it was just like, oh, it made me so happy. So thank you so much for spending the time to do this and for sharing it with us. It made me super smile. We are going to get into the boxes now. Are you excited? I feel like we could do something with more energy than like get into the boxes. Ooh, sounds like we're gonna climb into them and sit in them for like 20 minutes. Why don't we do something like bust out the boxes, uh, rip open the, help me out here. I can't do this by myself. Boxes. Let's attack the pack. Oh, let's, let's go savage on the packages. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait. <laughs> you took it too far. <laughs> Let's go savage. Let's go savage <laughs> on the package. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over. Bye.